So what is the best tolerance print to print in 2023? Now first, I wanna talk about the Benchy Bot. So let's begin and move these out of the way. This is my favorite one, and that is because he is so unique and flexible, and I just think the design is wonderful. And now the tolerance is read left to right. It starts off at five, four, three, and then a two. Now, even the middle has a tolerance. I don't remember what it is. And his eyes, they drop out of his head. How cool is that? I love it. It is crazy toad that designed this, so shout out to him. But I love this print. I think it is a very fun way to test out your tolerances for the first time on any printer. Now, I would not do this for everything just because it takes long to print. And there's more articulating joints than I like, and it just overall seems like a hassle to get everything moving to just check it or check it out. But besides that, let's check out this Tolerance Puck. This is printed in inland filament. It is a dual color matte black and red. Now I really enjoy this one because it has these large flanges and that makes it really easy to move these around. Two, I really like it because everything's organized and who doesn't love that adorable face by the way. However, this was printed on my Neptune and it kind of got elephant footed so this one sealed together and that was the shortest or the smallest tolerance. So this one didn't do too well. I think there is a lot of error right in here for your printer to have that tolerance and it could just mold, weld together, if you will, during a print. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend this one either if you're going to be reliably testing out your tolerances. However, this is a very fun one to print especially if you want some size and weight to really know what you're dealing with, to really feel all the movements. It's also easier than other tolerance prints I have found with this flange. So this is my number two recommendation, a flat two, my second favorite or third. We will discuss that later in the order of operations, okay? This is the Maker Coin, and I would have to say this is the top tolerance test for 2023 and probably beyond, but we'll go over that next year. And the reason for that is this thing only takes 12 minutes to print on a Neptune 4. It also serves as a color swash, and that's because it takes very little filament you can get nice color ratings and you can get nice settings because it will show you if there's stringing, perhaps even bubbles. And it's great all around. It's quick, looks great, it's functional. And that's why I like it so much. It's just, it feels right. These tabs work wonders. Now, this is the top one I would do if you're a seasoned tolerance tester, even a beginner, but Definitely for seasoned, if you're trying to learn tolerances of even colors, because colors have an effect on your filament. So this is what I'd recommend. If you enjoyed this video, please check out my other videos. Comment what print I should do next, perhaps. But also, please follow me. This will help me out so much. I am trying to get monetized. Three digi prints out. Have a great printing day.